Hello friends, welcome back. These are the like, and if you remove the post format, then it will simply remove that uh, for things. So if I just come in this code here, okay, and then simply refresh the page, the post format options has been removed, right? So this way. So if your if your team providing the uh, support for all these post formats, then you can do. And if you want to provide only few, like for example, I want to only add link aside and gallery. And I'm commenting this one and refresh it then it will only see those uh, like only standard or side gallery in link okay so you can also define individual by providing the array as an array so whatever arguments you are passing you have to part those uh, passing those arguments okay and next we have theme support like post thumbnails okay so if i if you see the featured image here right this meta box and this info this will be uh, supported through this uh, post thumbnails so if i simply comment this code that means i'm not adding the uh, then like uh, post thumbnail uh, support then it will be removed it from here that means your team is not supporting the thumbnails it's at, at least it's not about support but you are not displaying the post featured image into the uh, into the front end that's why this support have been removed but we team support is there feature team is always required to set the uh, featured image of the post or the article so that's why we have to do and simply refresh the page and then we can have this uh, featured image as well okay so this way you can we can have and this is the register name menus i will talk about little bit later okay and then there are another team supports for html file so uh, the comment form comment list gallery caption star script navigation widgets all of these are the html related uh, things and uh, uh, if like in the wordpress we have the comment form into the front end right so all these comment form the list of the comments uh, rendering about the gallery a uh, gallery sort code a uh, gallery blog everything will be uh, uh, those html mark uploaded by the wordpress so by using defining this html5 um, support and providing this uh, add of arguments which will pro so it provides the default core markup which you can use okay instead of having a custom markup so that's why the html5 so when there are many more um, supports are there about the custom logo as well so uh, if you go to uh, into the appearance uh, go to the customizer and you can see into the this site icon or the uh, this the, i think this is the provided by the logo no sorry not a site icon but logo this select logo so if i remove the this come here then probably it will remove not probably but it will, it will remove the support of the uh, logo okay so it's removed it here right so we are not providing the information so um if you are providing the custom logo support and there, there, these are the default arguments which you can pass logo height logo width flex width and these uh, these arguments will be used by the wordpress for the css purpose also okay and uh, we can so by by providing the custom logo support uh user can set a site logo and we can display into the uh front uh, into the front end okay so 2021 team already supported so if i go here go to the site entity select a logo so i'm simply taking any example from here like any image and then i am uh, skip cropping then it will display this site logo here right so this way like any 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 other places you can display site logo depends on the depends on the your the team layout and the design layout right but this way we can have this and i'm simply removing for now okay um okay so and there are multiple um there are uh, team supports for the align wide block style so these are the some of our, some of supports are related to our block editor including the editor editor styles as well so um not going through right now you will learn into another course called block editor course so um in that in in that course you will learn about it and there are many other uh supports are there but you can go through it so i think uh, there is a documentation uh, old documentation i found so this is the wordpress codex and i think it's old but i found the theme features documentation here and you can see the list of the features here and if you go through the for example um the custom background support so if you click on it you can add the theme support like this custom background and you can pass this default uh, arguments as well okay and into the um sorry into the um appearance menu you can found the background right and it will lead it will redirect to 
uh, here into the customizer and you can add the background colors and everything right so um, this way you can provide the supports um, multiple theme supports and core features are there so you can go through it so this is the link codex.purpose.org slash themes underscore feature okay so he on this uh, codex page you can find it out and these are the some functions you can refer okay um yeah so now lo let's talk about resistant name menus which we have seen into the, this uh, 2021 theme okay this uh, resistant name menus why it's needed so into the um let me just close some of the windows first okay um okay let me go to the uh, appearance and the menus okay so from from this appearance menus page uh you can manage uh, you can create multiple menus okay and you can see the display location here primary menu and secondary menu so these two locations are coming from the theme whatever the, what are the like menu locations provided by the theme if are the theme displaying the providing the support for displaying the menu into the front end and where it's providing right so these display locations have been registered through this register new menus so this is the function and you you can pass array and in the array you can pass multiple so here is the primary which is our menu location slug and the footer it's a key key and then um, the primary menu and the secondary menu it's a name so this information is displayed here okay and wordpress uh 2021 team uh, displaying this primary menu secondary menu into the front end like primary menu will be into the header and the secondary menu will be displayed into the footer okay so the uh, using this register name menus you can uh, you can sub, uh, mention what are the lo um, menu locations you are providing to display the menus okay so for example if i go to the visitor site okay so here currently there are no menu displayed here in now not in the header not into the footer okay so i'm going here and same menu all the pages same menu i am displaying into two both locations display and the primary and the secondary okay and then save menu so now if i go here and refresh the page now you can see the menu right so uh, wordpress team provide uh, display the menu assigned to the primary location will be displayed here and the same menu i have used here okay but if you can use the different menu items here so for example there are some of the social menus there so let me just i'm removing this i want to display this menu into the primary menu itself let me go to the social menu um i don't know it's already created yeah so twitter and everything and then i want to display the social menu into the secondary menu and save the menu here and go to the refresh the page okay so if you go here you can see these social icons right so this way uh 2021 team providing this uh all these uh social icons and everything okay so how to how we can display we have already like uh display uh provider locations right and then these locations can be used into the template so for example if you go to the header.php file um here they are using the site header get template but don't worry about this templating in in the next video we will talk about in depth okay so i'm just reference uh, giving a reference for now so this is a site new template have been uh, calling from the site header so site new here right so in the site new you can see has new menu primary does does this primary uh, location menu location have any menu assigned okay for, uh, earlier there is no menu assigned to this location that's why it's not displaying but now i have assigned that menu to uh, to the primary location so it uh, if it's there then the wordpress uh, 2021 team adding this new uh, um, uh, html markup and using the wp new menu function to render the menu assigned to this primary so this wp new menu function go at theme locations of which theme locations mean our uh, menu locations which is a primary so wordpress name menu function will display the menu assigned to this primary location okay and these are the some other uh other um menu like navigation menu classes and arguments you can use like what are the menu class you want to provide css class container class item wraps like it will be wrapped into the uh, ulli tag and the fallback callback if you want to use some additional um like custom uh, callback function to render the menu instead of using the wordpress code and maybe in upcom maybe in the, uh, another video we will talk about in depth about how this wp name menu and navigation menu things works like there are walker classes and many other classes which are used to render entire ul ally things right uh, like html markup 
so in another video we will talk about it okay but for now this wp new menu and these are the arguments you can see too. if you go into the functions definition you will learn more about uh, this what are the um, arguments supported by this and it's display, display the navigation menu okay so you can go through this function definition you can also have uh, filters and, uh, and these are the filters you can use the filters to modify the menu arguments and everything okay and then it will return the html markup and it will be display okay into the header and similarly if you go to the footer.php file uh, there are footer widgets and uh, before the footer widgets uh, let me just go to the footer widgets template parts here here footer widgets now it's displaying the widgets here um go to the footer.php file again um yeah here has new menu sorry yeah and this is the footer location right so in the footer we are checking if uh, any menu assigned to this secondary that our footer menu if yes then it will we will uh, again call this wp new menu okay so you can you can decide as a as per design you can decide at exactly uh, on which place you want to display the uh, menu look uh, menus right and and then simply user can create a menu and select the place where location where they want to uh, display the menu and it will be displayed into the front end right using this wp new menu function right so this way the this register new menus uh, functions and you can de declare the supports for that as well okay um yeah so that's all about register new menus now talk about sidebar so wordpress also provide a sidebar so sidebar is like uh, sidebar is similar as a new menu um like not exactly but similar like sidebar also have this uh, area um which can uh, you know like you can define some of the area into the front end where you want to display some of the content by managing the widgets from the wordpress admin okay so if you see here this search box the recent post recent comments these are the uh, blocks uh, or the widgets we can call and those thing informations can be displayed from the wordpress admin okay so if you go here into the widgets okay so now all now these widgets have been managed through the block editor earlier there was some other legacy widget ui but i think not exactly remember the wordpress version but i think 5.5 or 5.6 or like those around those wordpress versions um this widgets you user interface have been uh replaced by the block editor okay so now instead of creating having a legacy widgets and have to create a widgets separately we can use the same uh, Gutenberg blocks or block editor blocks uh, into the widgets uh, also. Okay, so it's very good for the developer so that they don't have to manage two separate things. Like they can use the block into the block editor as well, but for the widgets as well, they can use. So these blocks have been used into the uh, this uh, here, and this is the, our footer area okay so add widgets here to appear in your footer and these are the uh, separate separate uh, separate sidebars if you want to register separate sidebar then you can so let me just go here and check where register sidebar function have been used yeah register widget area right and they have got you know, on the widgets in it action they have registered a sidebar okay so this action have been used because the widgets in this action will be executed into the uh where wp admin on this widget screen okay we don't have to register a sidebar only uh, like um we have to call this function only into the backend okay because uh this will be used to set uh, widgets to the given uh, sidebar area okay so currently it's a footer so it's not like sidebar doesn't mean that it's only the right hand side and the left hand side of the word like content okay the, it could be anywhere into the header as well into the footer footer as well into the right hand side left hand side as well we, like as i mentioned like it's like about menu display location where you want to display uh, allow users to display the widgets from the wordpress admin into the front end so we can simply so i'm let me just copy this one for now okay as in and let me just add a primary as in uh, like i'm not going to display this but just having some demo purpose so can keeping here into the like uh in your footer and the okay, okay. and if we go here and uh, refresh the page now we can say have a widgets area right now you can see the footer now you can see the primary earlier the, there is only footer area here now it's a primary and i can also display it here right and then what you can do to display it to display the widgets you can see this footer widgets 
like because uh, currently the sidebar one which is our sidebar slug the area is similar to the menu locations okay and if it's active active means is active sidebar will check whether this sidebar have any widgets uh, have in place or not if it's there then it will simply call this and then dynamic sidebar and the dynamic sidebar function will render all the widget uh, blocks or the widgets uh, added to the sidebar one okay and for example so let's say we have this primary uh, or the footer let me just in a footer one or footer two for example okay and uh, here also uh, footer okay so i'm using this one and refresh it now you can see uh, the footer and in the foot footer to and i can add any other thing like uh, for example the paragraph um footer to uh, sidebar content okay and then simply update okay now if i go uh, now if i go here and if i refresh the page still it won't be displayed here because the widget has been set but displaying display part is still remaining so what i will do i will go to the footer widgets here and simply um i will call this function um here um let me just copy this one and if the okay so if um the sidebar two and here sidebar two okay so and now if we refresh it here now you can see the footer to sidebar content here yeah so this way you can add you can add as many like as many as sidebars and then you can use and like these are the customization thing which you are allowing user to display some additional content through the widgets into the front end right so yep yeah, um like so this way you can you can have multiple sidebars or and like it depends if you want to display into the header before the content then you can simply just call this dynamic sidebar function in header part in the in another template to render the content right so currently i have displayed in the footer itself so i'm using the footer widgets it's not like the these are the not a, like uh, these are the template parts we can call like uh, these are the not a mandatory it could be any you can keep any name for the template parts but the footer.php is the main template used by the wordpress to render the footer part okay footer content so we will talk more about uh, templates and template parts into the upcoming in the next video okay yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one jay wordpress